Do you know who stopped the killing of twins in Nigeria? Maurice Lesser wasn't the person who stopped the killing of twins in Calabar. In this story, we give the deserved flowers to the man who stopped the killing of twins. Oh, fool. King Ayo, on the 2nd, Ayo Ayo Unsa, was born in 1788 to Ayo Honesty I of Creek Town and Princess Inyang Essien Ekpe. His father, Ayo Honesty, Ayo worked as a cabin boy under English captains during the era of the transatlantic slave trade and accompanied them on their voyage to the West Indies and England. He learned to speak and write the English language during these trips. He also learned how to trade with the Europeans. Afterward, Ayo became an interpreter and acted as a middleman between the local merchants and the Europeans until his father died. After the death of his father, Ekwe Young Unsa, his young brother was crowned the new king of Creek Town. Ayo ventured into the transatlantic slave trade, which was lucrative at the time, brokering and selling slaves on behalf of merchants and himself. Ayo Unsa sold slaves to the Europeans until it was made illegal in 1807. After the ban on slave trade, King Ayo went into selling palm oil to the Europeans and he made quite a fortune from this business. In 1835, Ayo took the mantle of leadership after the death of his brother, King Ekwe Young Unsa. King Ayo Honesty II set out to modernize the old Calabar society after his coronation by introducing those western ideas and practices he learned in the course of his voyages to Europe. He believed it would make his people compete favorably with the Europeans. He saw education as one of the ways to civilize a man. He signed the anti-slave trade treaties with the British. He also sent letters to the British requesting for teachers and missionaries to come to Calabar and establish schools and teach the people commerce and Christianity. His requests were heeded. In April 1846, the first missionaries arrived old Calabar. Now I am sure God will love and bless me, for I am very glad you came with this book," King Ayo said at the arrival of the missionaries. Elimination of evil practices such as the killing of twins, human sacrifices, and the immolation of slaves upon the death of an important person in most Calabar was part of the reforms carried out by King Ayo Honesty II. By the last decade of King Ayo's reign, British involvement in several aspects of ethnic social cultural life was evident. Christianity was spreading and the people were becoming more modernized. King Ayo was happy with some of the changes that came with the British missionaries, but he protested their interference in matters of the state and also never converted to Christianity. King Ayo died on 3rd December 1858. He was known as a Christian king, but never converted to Christianity and adhered to customs that he believed were unharmful to Christian doctrine. Mary Slesser arrived Calabar in 1876. 18 years after the death of King Ayo II and settled in a small village called Okoyong where she preached against the killing of twins. King Ayo's reform stopped the killing of twins spread to other parts of eastern Nigeria. If you love stories like this, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on others.